on today's episode on Warp Drive M. We are going to try to start the track car, the one series. We are going to drive it uh, to the shop and we are going to start uh, working on the suspension. Uh, we have to fix the car, of course, because the car has a lot of other problems. And uh, let's hope it's not going to blow up in pieces and when we are going to start it because the timing chain was making some rattling noise like uh, concerning. Let's see how the day goes. Will it start? This is the question after four months or five, I'm not really sure. The car is sitting here for a very long time. I uh, didn't have time to do anything on this one. The car is complete. Sadly, we destroyed the battery because I replaced the battery on this car, but I'm pretty sure it's dead dead. Let's see if it's going to happen something. Oh, not even holds the key. Holy crap, it's dead dead. We have the Fiat. By the way, the Fiat is sold tomorrow. I won't have the car and tomorrow I, I will uh, transfer the number plates and the insurance from the Fiat to this one. And I want to be sure that this one drives because I won't have any work car for now. And the 4 Series, I don't want to drive it every day uh, to the shop and back. And uh, yeah, that's why I need this one. And in this time, because I'm driving it, I can fix everything I can uh, replace the timing chain I can put the new suspension in the front because in the back we are ready uh, let's park the Fiat in here jump the cars and let's hope it's going to start everything is hooked up we have the green light let's see like I said I hope it's not going to blow up in pieces oh we have light Okay, we have ignition. Dead, dead. Something is happening. Not really sure what, because the key is not in there. Huh, strange moment. Okay. Huh, we had the ignition on without key. Ah, oh, no way. Please do not break right now because I need you tomorrow. It's on. It makes like noises, strange noises, the engine. And I'm not really sure if this is smoke or just condense. Just condense, okay. Let's see if uh, it's going to turn off. If I'm going to take the jumper cables. No, it's charging. Something is knocking really, really bad. But I need a car to drive like two or three days and after that we are going to drive it to the shop. We are going to finish the timing chain and the suspension in the front. It's knocking bad. From here it's knocking really loud. Before it wasn't so loud. Maybe because the car sat for five months. Anyway, let's um, drive it to the first... Uh, Drive test on the road officially with papers and everything. Let's see how bad it drives. Oh, that's a road knock. Holy smokes. I hope I'm not just down because I'm registering a car with the road knock. But I have all the parts in order to fix the car. Uh, I have all the parts for five months now, but I didn't have time to do anything because of the constructions of the um, garage and everything. We've transferred everything from this one to this one. Now it's insured and registered with a road knock, of course. Let's see if we are going to remain somewhere with this one. Um, it was on a charger since yesterday, at least 12 hours and it's not fully charged, so that's not a good sign. Let's see how bad the day will go. I hope not that bad. Don't mind the mess, because I moved everything from the Fiat to this one, like in five seconds because somebody should pick that up 
Uh, let's see how bad it is. Okay, no, no rod knock. We still have these ABS strange lights. Normally, if everything is okay, it should go away after we drive the car for a few meters. Uh, let's find out. So, no check engine light, no knock. Do we have brakes? Let me test the brakes first. Yes, we have brakes. Okay, that's a good sign. Let's see, it's going to blow or not. Don't forget, uh, we replaced the um, subframe in the back. <coughs> and <coughs> oh my god, <coughs> apparently, I'm not quite well. So, we replaced the subframe in the back, and I didn't do any kind of alignment. It's uh, freaking driving. I'm going to drive now straight to the washing station because the car looks like abandoned and I want to wash the, cars, the car first. And after that, we are going to continue our journey for today. I have to make three or four uh, stops. And after that, we are going to park the car uh, in the garage, in the new shop, because we have to fix it for sure. Uh, I get some weird... Uh, um, vibration from the back. I hope I tighten all the bolts and nuts But uh, for this speed like 50 Because we are in the city. It's okay. Oh, that's really bad. This is really bad I'm out of the city and I still drive 60 and the steering wheel is not straight at all The car wobbles on the street because of the alignment in the back Ha! Huh. And I uh, I plan to wash it. So perfect start and from time to time, I can hear the knock. Whoa, no. Oh, yeah, that's bad. The knock is really loud. So, we've done um, two kilometers. Not that bad. For the first drive, after five months, with a crooked steering wheel and no alignment in the back and uh, all the lights on the dash, that's perfect. This is my best decision ever. To sell a good car and to drive the worst one <laughs> that I have. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's bad. Okay, let's um, drive to the washing station, clean up the car a little bit because it's uh, way too dirty. The engine is running because I don't want to <laughs> stay in here. Um, I'm going to clean now and I'm going to show you the end result. It's done, but the knock is real and uh, the clear coat is peeling off everywhere, so we don't have any clear coat left on this car. But uh, it's not a problem for a beater, for a daily. So, clean up really good. It doesn't look like an abandoned car anymore. We have 26 kilometers done with the one series. And the sound is gone completely. No knock, no nothing. That's kind of strange. I can drive normally. The steering wheel is of course not straight at all. We have the ABS lights. I've scanned the car and we have a bad ABS sensor, so I'm going to order that. But see that I have 3000 RPM, no sound whatsoever. Not really sure what happened, what was the knocking sound. Apparently the car drives. Oh my god. So you cannot let go of the steering wheel. The back wants to go in one side and the front in the other one, so it's really dangerous to be honest. But um, I have to replace the suspension in the front and after that, whoa, after that I can do the alignment. And we are with the one series in the second unit that we have. We are going to try to figure out what's wrong with the car. I've done 79 kilometers uh, since I started the car with this knock. And, uh, oh, let me show you, the knock is gone. So, not really sure what's happening in here. The knock is completely gone. Sounds quite normal. Not really sure what's in there. If you want to follow the journey on this car, join me for the next episode. If you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video as usual, thumbs down. Until next time, see you later.